Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 19th, 2019. So, hey everyone, welcome back from my long three day weekend. Very nice to have a little bit of break, a little bit of rest, and the market is showing a little bit of resting this morning as well. Futures are pulling back just slightly. We have, um, we had Asian markets overnight, pretty much flat to and, and mixed um, overnight. And then European markets are uh, decidedly bearish this morning um, because of uh, banks pulling back and HSBC kind of pulling the market down with them on, on res earnings results um, over there in Europe. So a little bit of a little bit of tensions here in the market, but nothing, nothing major. Let's take a look at the charts here. Um, as you can see, uh, charts are, I mean, when you look at the index charts, there's only one thing you can uh, you can see in these charts, and that is bullishness. We have a bullish trend, um, clearly a bullish trend. And those bulls are very, very strong and have maintained um, their energy to just continue to push higher. We do have a resistance level up here. I mentioned in the morning note today some resistance levels that we want to keep an eye on as we move up toward those to pay attention to. And that's where, um, at least at this point, I got to tell you, I, I just can't see the market not running up there to test that. Um, um, it's being drawn up there right now. The the bulls are relentless. They do not want to give it up. My, my major concern is we really haven't put any significant level of price support in the, any of this move. So if we do start to sell off, the sell off could be rather harsh. So we'll want to keep an eye on that if profit taking does begin. Or if we happen to hear any leaked news or anything from the negotiations um, that would be uh, bearish, um, we could see selling really get strong because we've we've placed no no major support area in under this price action. We're just all bull all the time. So we'll want to keep an eye on that if that does occur. Also, just keep in mind that just because we may have leaked news coming out of those um, trade negotiations, it does not have to be bearish. It could certainly be bullish. In fact, there's pretty high anticipation that there will be a resolution um, and avoid the tariffs. So kind of keep an eye on this market. Now, if we do begin to pull back, we do have that support, that bit of a support right here. It's not significant, but there is some support in here that we can pay attention to if we do start to pull back. Let's take a quick look at the SPY. SPY moving up into a triple top resistance area. Once again, I really kind of expect at this this moment that the bulls are going to maintain this energy. They do not want to give this up. And this current bull trend um, still holding up very, very, very well. One thing you will want to notice is that we've lost some of our momentum here. You can notice our candles are getting a little bit um, well, they're chopping a little bit more. We're getting a little bit of smaller price action here. So we may be running out of that momentum up here. But as we approach this resistance, um, we'll have to really keep an eye on that um, significant resistance at this level. And we have some support right down in here if we do decide to pull back. That could hopefully hopefully catch us. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues also hanging in there nice and strong. Now cues um, had a little bit of a struggle um, on Friday, um, which was quite a bit different than what the SPY and um, and the diamonds uh, was doing on Friday, but just a little bit of resting um, here on the SPY. And we have a resistance level right in here that we need to deal with yet with the Q's. The Q's pulling back just slightly this morning, uh, like the rest of the market, but we're still clearly bullish and the bulls are hanging on. And this is where I would look for that level of support to come in if we do start pulling back. The old IWM showing tremendous strength on f Friday, blowing right through this resistance level here on IWM. You can see nice, nice trend 
popping right through this resistance level right here and now pushing up trying to test um, this a uh, little bit more significant resistance level in the chart. Um, right now, IWM appears to be um, just a very, very strong, um, obviously uh, being predominantly made up of domestic companies. There's very little um, that IWM has to worry about uh, as far as the trade negotiations. So holding up very very strong here and earnings results continuing to move it higher so we'll want to watch that if we do start to pull back um we have a little tiny bit of support right here but the the major more major support would be back down in here if we do start to pull back but i fully expect it, uh, it's going to be drawn up to that high at this point let's take a look at the vix vix on Friday, just a beautiful bearish engulfing candle here, uh, very confidently pulling back uh, in that VIX. That may pop up just a little bit this morning. We might try to catch just a little bit of price action support right here with uh, the market showing just a little bit of bearishness this morning, maybe a little bit of pop up in here. but. Clearly, um, the fear in this market continues to diminish and we continue to move that trend lower. Um, I would caution us, um, you know, breaking down through this support, we get down into these reaches down in here and we have a little bit of complacency um, if we reach down into these levels, uh, maybe starting to build in. So watch that closely. And, and complacency happens every once in a while when the market just gets overly excited in one direction so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that but right now nothing in in the VIX uh, indicating um, substantial fear in any way let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 is the four week new high new low ratio and as you can see here on t21 22 i'll go to this line chart as you can see we are up here um clear up the top uh, rarely does T2122 come up here and stay up here for this period of time. In fact, I can't remember um, the last time I saw us up here and stay up here so long. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that's a weekly chart. Let's look at the daily. There we go. There's that daily chart just hanging up in here uh, for such a long period of time. We are very extended according to T2122, and it would suggest a pullback at any time time so that's the reason why i say right now the bulls are in charge there's no reason to believe they're not in charge and we should stay with the current trend but we should also be a little bit cautious a little bit careful not to buy or get too long the market um, this extended in this rally be, the rally is 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 extremely extended we've been in it for a long time and now probably probably wouldn't be a very good time to just be adding a lot of long positions because we're probably closer the odds are we're closer to a rest or a pullback than we are further extension in the market but you never know and you just have to be uh, i use this as a caution signal to just uh, be careful not to chase um, any trades let's take a look at our earnings calendar or uh, economic calendar today economic calendar really not too much going on here we have the housing market index as you can see um, and then after that we just have bonds and and bill announcements um, and auctions so not much going on in here we do have um, shortly after the bell we have a fed speaker but probably not anything to worry about today on the earnings calendar, however, we had about 159, 160 companies reporting earnings this morning. So one of those reportings was Walmart. Walmart reported very well this morning, as you can see, and popping up. That's certainly helping to improve the futures. We were down about 100 points prior to that um, earnings report and we can see um, Walmart gapping up strongly here this morning so as earnings continue to roll in strong that's going to be a good sign uh, for the overall market and 
a test of these resistance levels up here um, uh, makes them even more likely. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a um, take a second here, and I want to ask everyone if this is your the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that follow me button on Facebook, and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. As you know, I, I put these videos out every day. Um, it's it's something that I like to do to help other traders, and one of the things that really helped me improve my trading was doing that market preparation every day before the market. So just having your eyes on those levels, having your eyes on what the market is actually doing, a little bit of that sentiment that's going on in the market helps an awful lot. And if you find this useful, please do me a favor, click those thumbs up and leave those comments. That helps a lot. And also always feel free to share these videos with any friends, family, or anyone else that you think um, could benefit from this information. Thank you so much for those of you who do take the time uh, to do that. It means a lot to me. So with that, everyone, let's take a look. There are some charts out there that we should be keeping an eye on um, and, and, and watching pretty closely. If you're looking for any kind of a pullback, any kind of a, a short trade, we want to look for those stocks that are severely extended. But there's not too many of those showing up in in charts um one one example might be um starbucks starbucks just a a massive run up we might be showing a little tiny bit of weakness up here and i wouldn't expect a major pullback at all and this would be kind of predicting that a trend would break but as you can see just a pullback into here um would be um, not that big of a surprise and if the market starts to um, take that little bit of rest. But by, by and large, um, what I would be focusing on is these charts that are moving up. And there's a lot of really good charts. You can see I have a tremendous amount of, uh, amount of alert set on my charts. Um, one example would be CLF. CLF, this beautiful little pullback holding above this support level right in here. And you can see that support carries back through here. I would be watching this for a potential entry and you can see my alert is right here. And I may actually tighten that up as we move along. I continue to like Wayfair. Wayfair is a really nice chart moving up here on Friday. Don't be surprised to see this consolidate a little bit more, but keep an eye on that where Wayfair and also keep in mind it reports on the 22nd. Pan W is one that I brought up last week and that moved through my alert on Friday. You want to watch these resistance levels up here, but Pan W looking very, very good. One we all probably want to keep our eye on is Apple. Apple holding this really tight consolidation here, trying to uh, to uh, move on up in this little trend that's going on. I really like this pattern. I want to pay attention to it. It is possible that that could fail that pattern and move down, but right now this tight consolidation has me watching that pretty closely and I want to um, stay focused on um, these good price patterns like that that can be really, really profitable trades. Um, another one you might want to keep an eye on is Carnival Cruise. Carnival Cruise moved up nicely in this trend. Pulling back, now this could consolidate more. This trend line that I have in here could certainly move around yet and we could see a little bit more consolidation um, above this support level before we move higher. But um, this is one of those charts that sh showing good strong signs and this is that downtrend break and we've held that downtrend looking pretty good in that chart. So there's a few charts for your watch list, things that you might want to keep an eye on. We're getting those a um, uh, little bit of pullback this morning in the market, but certainly nothing to be overly worried about. And hopefully 
um, we can just continue uh, this trend. Those bulls can continue to hold on in this market. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons. Leave comments. That helps me out a ton. Everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. And by the way, if you're struggling as a trader, please never give up on yourself. I know trading is hard and it's one of those things that it will challenge you emotionally like you've never been challenged before but once you get a good set of rules and some guidelines put in place you can make trading a career I'm proof of that just an old carpenter that uh, spent a lot of years figuring it out and beating my head against the wall until I did figure it out um, and if we can be of help please let us know everyone take care have an awesome awesome day and we'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday morning Thank you.